dear all welcome to lecture series of python programming uh, in this session uh, we are going to discuss about string data type in python so at the end of this presentation you will be able to learn about what is string data type how do you perform concatenation of two strings what is string multiplication how to perform also along with that some simple example as well these are the overview of presentation so moving further what do you mean by string data type do you know about what is string data type in python strings are used to represent the text data that is why we are using string data type for representing integer you are using integer data type also you might have studied about floating point this is another type of data type to represent text data how do you represent string in python yes we have options you can use single quotes otherwise you can go for double quote even triple quote also supported by python so along with that one more important thing you need to note down that so once you created string we cannot alter that means string in python are immutable that is you cannot change their content once they are created that is another important point these are the basics you need to understand about string data type in python moving further let's see one example so i represent a string namely hello world using single quote then hello world i represented using double quote and a triple quote so you can execute the same program in any one of the compiler what i have done i have just opened jupyter notebook then i just typed this so like you can represent uh, this way so if i run this now actually program is correct so actually it is accepting uh, in this particular um, interactive shell okay so this is the way how to represent a string okay now we can do different operations uh, in that particular string using the string we can do per different concatenation okay like uh, concatenation is nothing but the process of combining two or more string into a single string suppose we have so many strings sometimes we need to combine those strings so that is application okay so as you can observe using the following methods you can perform string concatenation for example use plus operator plus equal to operator string formatting using the function called str dot join similarly using string multiplication also we can use str dot format then using percentage operator so these are the different uh, methods of string concatenation that means combining multiple string so if i talk about the plus operator like uh, use the plus operator we have two strings so if you use the plus operator it is possible to join uh, these two strings what are the two strings available here one is hello another one is world if you use plus operator it is possible to join hello and world that means together you will get the output as hello world let us see how plus operator help to perform string concatenation now you can see the program uh, string 1 and string 2 we stored hello and world now i need to do the string concatenation i am using uh, plus operator so i have typed and the result will be printed okay now let's run the program how to run the program yes as you can observe now string concatenation is performed using the plus operator fine now we can see using plus equal to operator so please refer the program you can uh, type the two strings then you can use the operator str plus equal to str2 okay now what you can do is print either str1 or str2 so that output will be like uh, hello world so this is another method of string concatenation okay so you can use plus equal to operator similarly we can go for uh, string formatting so we have string formatting so look at this you can use the like uh, string 1 and string 2 can be defined separately so use like this f double dash so you can use the flower bracket and uh, close this now you will be getting the result as hello world that means this is another method of string concatenation use, using string formatting you can verify the same thing in any one of the interactive shell okay so i think it's clear, clear to everybody also we have another option called str.join one function str join 
str dot join by using this also you can uh, do the string concatenation okay so this is the way how to perform str dot join also you can perform the string multiplication using star operator so you can use like you can like uh, as we can see str1 it is one of the string namely hello then result uh, what is my expectation is i need to multiply str1 thrice okay str1 hello hello i need to get the output as thrice so you can use the star operator here so if i go for star operation um, then uh, if i go for print i am able to get hello three times this is your output we can verify once okay this is called a string multiplication also we can have another option called str dot format if i perform str dot format the syntax will be in this fashion so defining str1 the name is alice so uh, any name you can put result will be like this str dot str1 dot format of name name will be alice only so what is the output hello alice you will be getting the output we'll verify okay no issues uh, i think it's clear to everybody uh, now using the per percentage operator also you can perform uh, like a uh, string concatenation so like this str1 equal to hello then percentage s and you can use exclamation mark okay percentage word so print if i go for like uh, uh, str1 like uh, as you can see uh, hello percentage s okay till here you have to write again you have to use world like after percentage you can put the world then print str1 that means you will be getting hello world that means string concatenation will be performed using this operation okay using the percentage operator also you can perform string concatenation okay now we will work out the examples now you can see how the plus equal to operator works for the string concatenation i typed the program uh, now you can see i need to get the output as hello world so let's run the program yes this is called a plus equal to operator. Now we will see another method using like a multiplication, star operation, string multiplication. Yeah. So let's run. Yes. Hello will be repeated thrice. Clear. Now here we are using str1 dot format. Okay. Now let's see how it is going to operate. See string format, string dot format. So uh, I have typed the program. Uh, now let's run the program. Yes, here also you can see string concatenation is possible. Let's see how it works based on the percentage. So now we can see, uh, see, str1. So what I require is I need, uh, I need to concatenate using the percentage operator. Okay, let's see the percentage operator. So now I am going to operate this. Yes, this is also possible. These are called a string uh, concatenation. If I talk about uh, string multiplication, uh, like uh, we have the same hello, hello, I need to repeat like uh, multiple times. What you can use is you can use the star operation. Using the star operation, you can perform string replication in Python refers the process of creating a new string by repeating an existing string or uh, required number of times. You can achieve the string replication using the star operator. So you can replicate the string uh, as many number of times as you can, okay, based on the requirement. Clear. I will show you how to do this operation uh, in interactive shell. So uh, as you can observe, so we have original string as hello. The re repeated string should be like original string multiplied by three. Then print repeated string. If I print the repeated string, I will be getting like a hello three times. Here also you can repeat A, B, C like four times using this particular operation. Okay, this is called a string replication. I hope you understood how to perform string replication. Okay, so in this session, we discussed about what do you mean by uh, string replication. If you want, I, I can show you the program once again. Okay. Now we have typed the program. Later after run the program, we are getting like a hello three times. Why? Because we are using like a replication, string replication using the star operator. Clear? Let's summarize. In this session, we understood what is string, string data type in Python. Later, what, uh, what is the significance? Okay. Later, we discussed about the string concatenation, joining of two strings. Also, we studied about string replication by using uh, different uh, operators and functions. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any queries. Have a happy learning.